feel like I've forgotten how to do this. Just uh, point and shoot and talk. Morning, how are you doing? It's not even been a week, you know. It's not even been a week and we're in. Come on, you're right, okay. Come on. Yeah. Dog's climbing over everything. I thought he was going to fall in. This is this is the driveway to the Finca, Finca Life, and it's uh, it's suiting us a lot. Roller's having a great time. He's off his lead and he's running around. It's really really good, and it's not even been a week. And uh, I know you guys are watching the uh, the renovation vlogs. Thank you. Uh, the the response from those has just been phenomenal. They really have. We're way past that now. We are way past that. We are to a point now where we are in. Uh, we have the place looking most probably 90% of how we want it to look for the inside. Outside about 30, so we need to work on that. And not even a week in, six days in, I can 100% tell you that uh, at this moment in time, me and Shelley, we are living the dream. Rollo, come this way. Come here. This way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Big drop into a swimming pool there. I think that's a reservoir. Oh, no. Someone's put a basketball court in there. I don't know how that happens. Come on, this way. We are living the dream. It feels absolutely unreal. It feels that it's, uh, it's not my life, which is bizarre. It feels like uh, it could end and stop at any minute which is actually quite frightening we live in the dream I wanted to say we live in the dream on somebody else's paycheck because we're actually renting but I think the guy's definitely for a long term rent as was the last one we hit New Year four months ago and on New Year's Eve New Year's Day me and Shelley were looking at each other and we were just saying like you know look where we've Look at where, I don't know what he's doing. Look at where we are and look at where we've come from in the five years that we've been together, five and a half years that we've been together. We're right over the moon, this is it. We're settled, everything's amazing. And then just out of the blue, we get a bombshell phone call from the owner of the house saying after 25 years, his New Year's Eve was a bit different to ours. It was New Year, New Me for him. And he decided to split after 25 years of marriage. Which meant his asset, or their asset, the house, was then going to go up for sale and going to get sold. So that started this. And we thought at the time, we thought we were just like, oh, we're done. We are just, we were on the bottom. We just couldn't think what was possible. How's it? We knew the housing crisis in Tenerife was bad. He's just doing his business there, so I'll take, take him off camera. We knew the housing crisis in Tenerife was bad. We just didn't know how bad until, I mean, Shelley's phenomenal at, uh, at finding stuff very resourceful and she just went for it and that's uh, long story short then we got this place we're still just getting used to it Rollo's still Rollo's still getting used to all the sounds of what's going on there's do other dogs around but they're far enough away I normally tend to walk about this far and then we walk back a little bit there's a, three things that have happened in the last week three things that have made me extremely grateful for the position that I find myself in at this moment in time the first one was, um, I got an email, I'm not going to mention who it was, from a gentleman, out of the blue, don't know him, I don't know him, and he sent it to a private email address and just saying that how his marriage has uh, just ended after, I think it was 25 years, we're going to go this way, roll this way, come this way, let's go back, come on, <laughs> his marriage has ended after 25 years, and um, if it wasn't for my videos, they got him through his darkest days. And it's like, you don't, I, I replied, but you don't really know how to reply to something like that. But uh, if you're watching, you know who you are. And uh, thank you very much for getting in contact. It puts you in a... It puts you in a privileged position that I'm able to talk in front of a camera. That's it, really. That's what it feels like. Uh, that was the first one. The second one was actually from um, a friend of mine who I've met through YouTube and he comes over on holiday and we've met up and we've become friends and i posted a picture on a on a tannery forum um trying my hardest not to spam with all the youtube stuff that i do so i thought I'd, come on start posting some pictures get involved in the in the group as a group member and um 
I got out of the reply, I mean, it's not great, it's a great shot. It's actually a shot of this area behind me with Lagomera in the distance there. And it's a beautiful shot, it was a lot clearer. And um, in the comments he put, you two really are living the dream. And that made me stop. It really made me stop and think and go, do you know what it is? It's not bad, is it? It's not, it is not bad at all, you know? And it's took nearly five and a half years to get here to this position. And I feel that it will, that it can stop at any minute, but it's not, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one at all. And that was almost like a realization dump of like a, a penny drop. Everyone, well, can you finally relax? I don't know. I don't know. Look at the age of the cars coming down here, man. Look at this. Look at the age of that. It's incredible. It's like going back in time. I've been on Office Island since I was 16. This feels like I've gone back in time. In this area, this is like how Tenerife should be, how Tenerife was, and how Tenerife actually is. It doesn't feel I live in Tenerife. It's, that's, the, that's the most, that's the weirdest explanation I can give it. It doesn't feel I live in Tenerife. I live in Tenerife uh, 30 years ago. With, if you listen carefully, you get the sound of chickens. The sound of nothing. No English bars. No Euro pints. No, no tourists shouting their heads off, Larry tourists. That's what's amazing about this place. Tenerife has got everything, something for everything, everybody, and that's the reason why it's so popular. But that was the second one, and it was like a, it almost scares me into believing that a penny, I'm allowing a penny to drop and think that I am actually living a dream because it's, it's phenomenal, it really is. Shelly's actually still asleep, I'm just out here blathering with you. So that's the second thing that happened. The third thing was we've got one of Shelly's mates over from Ireland. She actually works for Facebook. Uh, she's been here a few times. She's known Shelly for years. She used to live here years ago. And she came out of a relationship about a year ago. And it was like a long relationship, many, many years. And uh, she's out of it. And she came over about a year ago, well, about six, seven, eight months ago. And then she's come back over again. And she literally is a completely different person. And she's here on her own. She's like very happy in her own company. Amazing person, really nice lass. So I was in the car with her the other day, just me and her. And we were just having a chat and she said to us, she said, you know, Rick, she said, I don't really know you that well. I've you know, we only just recently met. She says, but the first time I came over here after uh, her split and her break from her partner, her ex, she said, honest to God, it was like coming to a retreat, coming to you two. She said, you two together, just make it so much easier and so much nicer and so much happier. And I want to thank you for that. And I'm like, well, oh, that's fine. It's just what we do. It's who we are. But the truth is, and I, re I remember saying this to Shelley about seven, eight months into a relationship. I said, I know personally myself how strong and confident I am. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come down. It's come down. He gave me that look then, he's like, I'm going, come on, this way, come on. He gave me that look then, it was like defiance. I know how strong and confident I am in my own shoes. I've done it. Uh, I've built myself up a few times now in life. Hopefully this is the last time. And I also know how strong and confident she is in her shoes. And I actually remember saying to her about uh, seven months into our relationship, when you get two people who are givers like we are, and you put us together, it's like taking it to the next level. And I generally feel that. It feels like it's taking it to the next level and it's, it's just, it's brilliant. And that's a, that's another penny drop moment that just like, am I allowing myself that penny drop moment? And you know, I should be allowed to say that. I should be allowed to put the flag in the sand and go, right, that's it. Living with it, we've made it. You know, uh, togetherness, we've made it. Let's put that flag in the sand. But I still don't do it. I still don't, I don't know why I still don't do it because I expect a phone call to come along and go, oh yeah, it's all a mistake by the way, or something, I don't know. So I've just got to roll with it, and that's what I do, I just roll with it instead. The thing is from that though, for me, is it's entering a different phase of life now. It's entering a phase of life for me, we'll go up this way. It's entering a phase of life for me that is uh, more at peace, a lot more at peace with myself, with my actions, with my, with my character as a person. 
I get a lot more I'm gonna get a lot more satisfaction doing little things like today, believe it or not. I'm actually doing a litter pickup today. This area needs litter pickup. Not only did they leave the house a mess, they left the whole area a mess. So I bought one of those little litter picker up things, you know, like the uh, things on a stick with a fork that you just grab. And I'll get contentment out of that today. I need to try and get across here onto the next level. Uh, I'll get contentment out of that today. So it, it just gives me a lot more get across here first before I start carrying on to kill myself da, da, da. and there, there you go Rollo come on it just gives me a lot more contentment I'm looking forward to exploring this place come on look at this it's like man-made plains must have been an old farm this I generally cannot believe that my life's brought me to here my path has brought me to here it wasn't it wasn't easy i mean when i first arrived in the first year i must first year i came here to tenerife i think i nearly gave up seven eight times to go home i actually got embargoed my account got embargoed my bank account so you come here with a suitcase 10 kilo suitcase roll <laughs> and uh did some paperwork at the uh, the, the, the social offices and uh Within three days, my account got embargoed. And the reason being was because the first time I was over here and I had a business and I closed the business down, the accountant at the time didn't close down the uh, the basura, which is the rubbish. So there's an outstanding bill of uh, 19 years owed from the basura, which is about 16 grand. So they took the money and went, yeah, we'll have that. And I had to fight and fight and fight. For about a month and a half, I didn't have money. So I had to fight and fight to get that money back. I would not have had a clue if it wasn't for the right people I had in my uh, in my corner fighting for me. And it was Shelley that was saying all the time, don't give up, keep going, don't give up, come on. So I think she wanted the dream as well. So it's not as if it's an easy path. I just wanted to say that and it's not, I'm, I'm extremely grateful. It's not, I, this isn't a gloating uh, vlog or a video. It's, uh, it's not without an easy, you've got to go through, the path is never easy. I've lost him now. The path isn't easy. You've got to be prepared for the fight. But... Is it now that this is now worth it? Have we now come out the other side of it? I think so. I think we might have just done that. I think we might have just come out the other side of it. Because I plan on spending the next many, many, many years as possible. I want to spend it there. Just with that gate behind that gate there. With peace. With that view. with these surroundings. Rollo, come this way, this way. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Come on, this way. <laughs> with that in mind, off for breakfast. I'll see you on the live later. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for all the kind words. Thanks for all the support. I've always said this one's just about just Rick, but it's nice once in a while to get an appreciation, isn't it? Of where you are. See you on the next one. Cheers.